from the World Economic Forum in Switzerland. Without the biggest economies being part of a framework to reduce carbon dependence, we have no earthly hope of success. To the halls of Congress. We're not here to vote our fears. We're really here to vote for solutions. The talk is of acting globally to stem global warming. But at the Timberland Shoe Company, the edict is to act locally. We think about how we manufacture, not even what we manufacture, but how we manufacture. The order from CEO Jeff Swartz, Timberland must be carbon neutral by 2010, dramatically scaling back carbon dioxide emissions and offsetting them through environmental measures, like wind farms and solar panels to power the factories, biodiesel for the supply trucks, and $3,000 to each employee who buys a hybrid. And something else, Timberland is now printing a sort of nutritional label on each one of its shoe boxes, listing how much energy it took to produce each pair of shoes. In this case, a little more than three kilowatts of energy. We're an outdoors company. We want to preserve our playground. This is the most pressing environmental issue of our time. Timberland isn't a big polluter at all, but it's hoping that all of us will follow its lead. You can't reduce what you haven't measured. And we uh, ask people to um, calculate their carbon footprint. For example, each of us produces a ton of carbon or CO2 when we travel 2,000 miles in a plane, drive 1,350 miles in an SUV, drive 1,900 miles in a mid-sized car, and run an average household for 60 days. 20 tons of carbon each year for each American. All of that carbon adds to a layer of greenhouse gases that is warming the planet. I think we have turned a corner in public recognition that global warming is a serious problem. And it may take each one of us acting locally to truly make a global difference. Tom Costello, NBC News, Washington.